Oviraptor resource, also referred to as egg teeth lizards, are a group of feathered maniraptoran dinosaurs that lived during the Cretaceous period. They can be distinguished from other species by their parrot-like skulls, which are typically small and beaked, and may or may not have bony crests on top of the head. The eating habits of these animals are not fully known. They have been suggested to have been either carnivorous, herbivorous, mollusk-eating, or egg-eating. Oviraptorosaur sizes range from those of modern chickens to those that were longer than giraffes. Among the many Oviraptorosaurs, we focus only nine of the largest in this video. Number nine, Oviraptor. The discovery of a skeleton near what was initially believed to be a nest belonging to a ceratopsian dinosaur led to the assumption that oviraptors consumed eggs. New evidence revealed that their jaws are most suited for crushing extremely hard foods than for eating eggs. Even very hard items would have been no match for oviraptors' bent upper and lower jaws. Possible prey for this prehistoric beast included eggs, shellfish, and fish. The average weight of an oviraptor was 33 to 40 kilograms, and its length was around 6 feet. Number 8. Ojoraptorosaurus There is a genus of oviraptorosaurian dinosaurs known as Ojoraptorosaurus. These dinosaurs lived approximately 69 million years ago in region that is now Mexico. To this day, only the bones of the pubic region have been discovered. Based on the comparison of pubic proportions, it has been calculated that the Ojoraptorosaurus was between 5.9 and 6.9 feet long and most likely weighed somewhere around 40 kilograms before it died. 7. Nemectomia Nemectomia inhabited the region that is presently Mongolia in the late Cretaceous period. Given its approximate length of 7 feet, Nemectomia was relatively diminutive in comparison to other oviraptosaur species. Similar to other oviraptosaurs, Nemectomia most likely possessed feathers that enveloped its entire body. However, its diet remains uncertain, due to the fact that its beak-like mouth could have been utilized to consume both small mammals and vegetation. During the late Cretaceous period, China was home to a genus of oviraptorid dinosaurs, known as Nankangia. Nankangia has been hypothesized to have been more prone to consume plants due to the fact that the jaw symphysis is not downturned, despite the fact that it is only known from incomplete remains. On the other hand, the precise diet of Nankangia, similarly to that of a great number of other oviraptorid taxa, is not known with absolute certainty. The length of a Nankangia is around 7.8 feet, and it must weigh approximately 50 kilograms. Number 5. Chirostenodes One of the genus of Oviraptorosaurian dinosaurs that lived in Alberta, Canada during the late Cretaceous period, around 76.5 million years ago, Chirostenodes was distinguished by its long, powerful legs that ended in slender claws that were relatively straight, as well as its long, muscular arms that ended in slender claws. Before it died, the animal was approximately 8.2 feet in length and weighed close to 100 kilograms. Based on the evidence found in the beaks, it was most likely either a herbivore or an omnivore. Number 4. City Patty City Patty is a dinosaur that lived in Asia during the late Cretaceous period. City Patty is one of the best known oviraptorids thanks to a number of well-preserved specimens, including individuals found in brooding positions, atop nests of eggs. These nesting specimens have helped to solidify the link between non-avian dinosaurs and birds. The city patty was a big oviraptorid. 
It was probably 8.2 to 9.5 feet long, and weighed 75 to 83 kilograms the most. The top and lower jaws both lost their teeth and grew a horny beak. 3. Hagraphus It lived in southern Utah during the late Cretaceous period. Hagraphus is the type species and the only one that is known from only a partially complete but articulated left manus and the end of the left radius. The only known example, a single hand that is about 30 centimeters long, makes it hard to say how big it is. This hand might be about the same size as those of other similar oviraptorids. If so, the holotype individual of Hygrophus would likely be between 8 and 10 feet long and weigh more than 100 kilograms. Number 2. Anzu Anzu is a dinosaur from North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana. Anzu was the chicken from hell, an 11 foot long Cretaceous weirdo with a toothless beak, a flashy crest, and elongated arms, tipped with nasty-looking claws, all wrapped up in a coat of prehistoric plumage. It measured about 11.5 to 12.3 feet long, up to 4.9 feet tall at the hips, and 200 to 300 kilograms in body mass, and was among the largest North American oviraptorosaur. And number one, Gigantoraptor. Gigantoraptor was the biggest oviraptorosaur that we know of. It was 8 meters or 26 feet long and weighed 2 metric tons. It had long arms and legs and a spinal column that was filled with air. The femur and tibia were both longer than 3.3 feet, which is not common in big theropods. Like some other oviraptorosaurs, its lower jaws didn't have any teeth and finished in a keratinous beak. A lot of oviraptorosaur species have feathers all over their bodies, but Gigantoraptor might have lost some of its feathers because it was so big. Gigantoraptor had large sharp claws, like you may expect with a carnivore. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching. We will see you positively in the next one. Take care.